We know Glenver had the need for some better footing. They got it with the de dedication of the new turf field tonight. But as much as we like turf, we were there for the matchup. Two perennial powers, two different classes, but powers nonetheless squaring off in the opener. Galax at Glenver. Our opening game of the week has been a staple matchup for years. Her own Eric Johnson is here to shed some light, not just on this game, but why both programs really want to play it. Eric. Hey, Yappy, as you mentioned, this is the ninth consecutive year that Galax and Glimmer have kicked off the high school football season. And really, it's come to the point now where both coaches use this as a measuring stick, and they actually say this helps them prepare in their off-season workouts leading up into the season. Let's get you out to the field for all of tonight's action. Glimber taking the field, of course, on that fresh turf field that they had out there. They did hold a moment of silence before the game for uh, Tim Woods, their former player uh, that died tragically last week. Nonetheless, to the action, Galax got the scoring started. Cole Pickett, screen pass to Denver Brown. What can Brown do for you? Score a touchdown. 7 nothing Maroon tie. Glimber bouncing back. 14 unanswered points started with this touchdown pass from Aiden Walk to his main man, Nick Seabolt. He bolts to the end zone for the score. Highlanders eventually led 14 to 13, but Galax didn't back down. Cole Pickett is going to find Zach Johnson, 57 yards, 19-14 halftime lead. But here's Glimver yet again. Brady Loader, the catch, the run, shedding tackles. He's a load to take down 64 yards to the house for the score. But Galax would have the final say. They get a late touchdown pass to take a 32-29 lead, and they get a late interception in to seal the deal to get tonight's opening night win, 32-29. I just I, you know, I keep telling them this is what it's about. If you ever want to win one or win a big game, then you got to be able to go to the wall with somebody. And you, when you play Glenver, you're going to have to go deep in your tank if you ever want to win it. So that's why we play them. Yeah, we couldn't give up in the third quarter when we was down. We had to make it through the fourth quarter and finish the game. Truly a, a war of attrition out there tonight. It went back and forth. Both teams coming back from two huge deficits. And this is just as the coaches said. You have to play 48 minutes of football. That's exactly what both of these teams did tonight. Just so happens that Galax comes out on top.